What's up everyone? I actually have another circuit board repair video. Now this intro was actually filmed after the repair because I cut my lip uh, while I was shaving right before I started filming this and I couldn't get the, the blood to stop running down my, my lip. So this is already fixed, I think. I do still have to install it, make sure it's fixed. Uh, but 2013, ooh, you see it? There you go. 2013 uh, Jeep Wrangler AM FM radio. There was no sound during AM FM radio. Now, if you put a CD player, a CD disc in there, CD player would play sound. But uh, one of the common failures I've seen on these is that the AM FM little IC chip, the processor for the AM FM signal, um, the solder joints fell on those. So just have to re-solder them. Uh, with the hot air gun, which I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, like I said, this is already fixed. This intro is filmed after because uh, 34 years old and I still don't know how to shave. So I hope you all enjoy and uh, get right to it. All right, so in order to get this radio apart, the first thing you need to do is take off the face plate. Now there's gonna be one, two, three clips in the top as well as one two three clips on the bottom uh, all i do is i use my fingers uh, to pop them up and the faceplate comes off pretty easily now there's an electrical connector that goes into the head unit just be careful with that now after the faceplate is off, the next thing you need to do is remove the top panel to get down to the circuit board. So there's a couple little uh, dimples in the back side, here and here, as well as one here and here on the sides as well. Uh, just pop this black cover off, get them past the dimples. Use a flat screwdriver for that. Once you get it coming up, just lift from the back, black cover comes right off. Now the circuit board is on the bottom of this radio. On top is your CD player. Uh, two screws on the front hold the CD player on, and two screws in the top hold the CD player in as well. So I'm just using a T10 Torx bit. Make sure you don't drop these. Pretty small, they'd be hard to find. And once you get the four screws out, this will lift up, but you need to be careful. You see this ribbon cable? Um, see, inside, uh, can you see it? Inside there's a connector you have to undo to get the ribbon cable off. Just like that, CD player with the ribbon cables out. So through my research about these radio failures, I found out that this chip right here, uh, let me get a pointer, this chip right there is uh, your AM FM radio receiver and um, that, that chip has a tendency for the solder joints to break. So I'm going to look under this uh, with my scope and see if I see any failures with it. So I have the chip under the microscope. Um, this here is the AM FM receiver chip. Now, I can't actually show you what's wrong. I, I did this off camera. I had to use actually a, a back probe 
that I had laying around to push on these legs. Now, three sides of the, this chip I can get to, right? So I'm pushing on these legs, making sure they don't move. You know, I can get to this one. I can get to these ones, these three sides, but I can't get the side on camera that actually fell. So you see this right here? The chip is right under here. And as I try to move these legs, uh, the camera won't pick it up. So just take my word for it that there is a loose leg on that chip. And the second I try to film it, let me try to get it back in view. So the very second I try to film this, uh, because of where that is, uh, my hand gets in the way. So, just gotta take my word for it that one of those legs are loose on this chip. And this here is a pretty common problem from what I've seen. Let's see if I can get this back in camera. But, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna use flux and a hot air gun. I'm gonna reflow all that solder and uh, see if it's fixed. I'll put it back together. It only takes a few minutes, so. So, gonna throw some flux on here. So I have flux done. I'm just gonna heat this chip up until the solder starts to flow again. Siding. Now, uh, I'm not sure if this was like this before or not, but where is it? Right there, as well as right here, I have a bridged, uh, two bridge legs. So I'm going to take a Heiko micro soldering iron. Now, this thing has a tiny tip. I'm gonna wait till it gets warmed up. I'm gonna make sure this tip is clean. I want this tip to be clean. So, that when I go and touch this leg, it is going to suck the bridge out. Just like that. All right, gonna do that again over here. And just like that, the, uh, the bridge is gone. So I'm gonna reassemble this and see if it works. Actually, first I need to clean it. So I'm gonna go get some, uh, some alcohol to clean it. Now it's all clean. Uh, time for reassembly now. Uh, I could shut this off at this point. First thing that goes in, we gotta get this ribbon cable lined up. S snapped into place. Got the CD player back in. I know, I know I'm gonna drop one of these. I'm 
number two. Number three, and last but not least. Slide this black cover back in. Maybe. There we go. And last but not least, the faceplate. Now, like I said, make sure you're super careful with this connector. Make sure that's lined up. All right. We'll uh, put this back in the car and see if it's fixed.